So this is going to be a quick rundown of what I managed to do so far. Got a bit of 12mm um, MDF 8x4 sheet from B&Q. Got them to cut it in half. My other half is over there waiting. And then I set about using this wood which came from an old bed actually. I've put a bit of 4x1 which you can see down the bottom there along the back to give it a bit of support. Hold that in place with some panel pins. Some 3x1 down the edges. Now the finish isn't the greatest but I've as you can see there, I've used, uh, if it'll focus, I used a router to take about four, three or four mil so that, out of it so that it would slot onto the edge of the board. Try to give it a little bit more strength. So I used a router, glued it, screwed it into place. Not massively happy about this corner. Gap there. No gap at the other end, but I just cut it wrong. Last bit waiting to go on should complete the whole playing surface, giving me, I think it's about inch and a half maybe, of room between the actual board and the edge. Then, I'd, as much as I'd like to go crazy and put foam in this one, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it, um, put it down with some polyfiller, sand, paint, flock, and then dry brush. Just because as much as I'd love to go crazy with the foam, I need a simple playing surface so that I can put any terrain or anything I want to play with on top of this. Now, it looks slightly bowed, but I think that's just the way it's sat at the moment on the table. But yeah, I'll come back when this is a bit more So this is the frame finished. All fitted together, all slotted together, glued, screwed and sanded. Nice little gap here. Stop anything falling off the edge, hopefully. Um, I have got some felt pads that I'm gonna put on the bottom to protect any tabletops. But this is the frame done. All in all, about two, three hours work total. So yeah, I'll come back when I've done some more. So here it is at the completion of a couple more stages. I have um, put down a mixture of polyfiller and grit on the bottom, which is what you can see the white through. I wasn't particularly happy with the texture, it was very flat in places and then very sort of lined in others from where I'd used the um, filling knife to put it in. So what I've done is I've given it a coat of watered down PVA and then I've sprinkled on this, which is um, bird grit. I kind of like it, so what I may do is wait for this to dry, shake it off and then put some more on. Or maybe even spray it with some watered down PVA to kind of like grip this layer down, because it's quite good. But yeah, coming along nicely so far. So this is what I managed to get done on day two. Put a bit of brown paint down. Not totally happy with the edges. I'm going to have to go around and get that off again. A bit of Java Bean Brown from Wilkinson's on there. And then gone over with a lighter brown, a grey and a white. It's drying a bit lighter now so I can actually see the contrast. But the plan after this is flock and then a good sealing of PVA glue to keep it all down because I'm not sure how I'm going to store it really. Garage, shed, somewhere like that. Right, I'll come back when I've done some more. So this is it. 99% finished. Just spraying over some water down PVA at the moment to seal it. If I come up close, you can almost see So there's a layer of filler and grit, and a layer of paint, no sorry, then another layer of grit over the top, a layer of brown paint, dry brushed a couple of times, then a few different types of flock, I think there was some meadow grass, some, or two different types of meadow grass actually, some burnt grass patches, and then some brown earth in it as well. All in all, very happy. Some of the patches were a bit big that you could see through. 
and you can't quite see the colour at the moment because it's all saturated with PVA glue. But this is it, pretty much done. I'd like to tidy up the edges and get some of the brown paint off. But for the moment, the games that I want to play on it, it's done. I'll try to get some pictures with some bits set up on it and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. So this is the final finished product, completely sealed. So now all the flock is solid and stuck down. I went over some of the um, brown areas, which seemed there's one here which is a little bit straight for my liking. Went over that with some more of the burnt earth flock that I got. I think they came from Gage Master at a model train store. Um, but yeah, very happy with the finished. It's very solid now. It will take a lot of effort if I wanted to get any of this off. It's been stuck down nicely with lots and lots of PVA. So next steps really are to get some trees that can stick up on here, stand up straight, and then just keep looking for any sort of terrain which will fit on it. So hedges, bushes, trees, houses, just to give a little bit of cover and make the games a bit more exciting. But overall, for a first attempt at a board, I'm very happy with it. We'll probably go around the edges and try to tidy up these bits where I've had a bit of oversplash. I would have used masking tape, but the masking tape we had in the garage is probably about 15 years old, and so it was lost all its stick. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll uh, try and show it off again soon when there's some actual models on it.